Hello everyone, I hope you guys are doing well and having a great day so far. Today I'm going to share with you guys another henna video. If you guys watched my last henna video, you guys saw me covering my gray hair in one step process. I did mix 60% indigo, 40% henna, and I was very happy with the results. I was able to cover my gray hair with very natural brown color, some red tones, but I realized that might not work for a lot of people. I heard a lot of stories, people trying the one-step process and not working for them. Because you know, everyone's hair is different and those with gray hair, they can be very stubborn to cover. So that's why I'm back today to share with you guys something that actually works. I heard a lot about it before, I never tried it myself, but today we are going to do it together and it is the two-step process. Now, spoiler alert, because I'm filming this after I did the process, it actually works and if you are new here i actually created a playlist of all of my henna videos it will be in the description box below and also if you're new here henna and indigo are plant-based hair dye henna color your hair red indigo has more of a blue purple color and you cannot apply indigo on its own uh, because it will color your hair like green very weird color so indigo must be applied mixed with the henna or after henna treatment so the method i'm going to share with you guys today it is not only effective but also very beneficial you guys know henna has a ton of amazing benefits for your hair it makes your hair volumized strong healthy it can cure dandruff and itchy scalp it can actually create a protective layer on your hair that strands to heat damage and sunlight so the combination of these two plants with the two-step method I'm going to share with you guys today you can achieve a black or brown color it really depends on how you mix it and how long you leave it on your hair so you guys going to see me doing a henna treatment first we're going to wash it out and do an indigo treatment so before we get started on this video please be sure to subscribe to my channel down below hit that thumbs up and with all of that said let's get into it all right guys so now i'm going to mix my henna for the first step here i have 170 80 grams of 100 percent pure henna and to that i'm going to add 20 grams of hibiscus powder and 10 grams of aloe vera powder and since we're not going to be adding any indigo powder to this first step i decided to use a little bit of apple cider vinegar because you guys know indigo doesn't like any acidic but here we're not adding any indigo so i decided to use a little bit of apple cider vinegar and I also have my warm distilled water over here. The water should be warm but not boiling. And I'm going to start mixing right now. First, I'm going to add a couple tablespoons of the apple cider vinegar. Now every henna absorbs the liquid differently so I can't really tell you how much water exactly you will need. I don't even usually measure it. So just add your water a little at a time, mix it very well until you get a very thick like um, a Greek yogurt consistency. And don't worry if it is too thick right now because you can always add more water later on after the dye release and fix the consistency, uh, but you can't take away. So don't make it runny, make it nice and thick. And don't worry about these lumps because I find after a few hours they will soften and they'll be a lot easier to mix in. Now I'm just going to cover it and we're going to leave it at room temperature for a few hours. Now in a separate bowl, I'm going to mix a little bit of henna without apple cider vinegar. This is 24 grams of henna and this is going to go in my second step because I don't want black hair. If that's what you want, if you want black hair, you don't have to add henna, you can just do indigo straight. But because I want more of a brown color, I'm going to break the indigo with a little bit of henna. So this is actually 30% of the whole recipe. All right, that's good enough. Now I'm just going to do the same and cover it with plastic wrap. And I'm going to leave it for a few hours at room temperature for dye release. 
All right, guys, so this is three and a half hours later. I already checked on my henna and that I released. I had to add a little bit more water to get it back to nice, smooth consistency again. This is normal. You can always do that. Add more water before you apply it to your hair. I have my henna right now where I want it and I am ready to go. I washed my hair last night and uh, I used clarifying shampoo. It is especially important before you do henna because it really cleans the hair, gets rid of any and products built up if you use dry shampoo like me every day especially important to use a clarifying shampoo because it just gets the hair very nice and clean and that really helps the color deposit better on your hair and you can apply henna to dry or damp hair right now you guys are going to see me applying it to dry hair but on the second step you guys are going to see me applying it to damp hair because right away after i wash the henna out i'm going to do the second step so i am ready to go i'm just going to put my gloves on right now just wear something dark or any old sweater that you don't care if it gets stained or not and um, yeah we're ready to go you can also use a little bit of coconut oil or avocado oil anything or vaseline i like to use coconut oil just do your hairline and your neck your ears so you don't get any stain on your skin I always like to start by sectioning my hair in half like this and I do this first Now for this first step, I did mix a lot of henna because I want to apply it on my entire hair. I want to get all the nice benefits and I also like the red tones that gives my hair. But you guys are going to see me right now for the second step, I'm going to make very small portion because I'm only going to focus on my gray patches. So I'm being very generous in this application because I want the henna to cover every strand of my hair Now I'm going to use a shower cap to cover my hair. Just make sure you rub your hair very, very well. You want the henna base to stay nice and moist. You don't want to dry henna because not only it will stop coloring your hair, but also it will become very hard to wash. So on top of this, I'm going to wear my plastic hat. Now I'm just going to leave it in my hair for like three to four hours and I'll see you guys for our second step. Alright guys, now I'm going to mix my indigo for the second step. I have here 56 grams of 100% pure indigo and I'm only going to use warm distilled water to mix it in. At this point, you can add one teaspoon of salt. Uh, salt helps the color to stick better to the hair, especially if you are coloring very stubborn gray hair. Today I'm not going to add salt. If you need to, just add it in. I'm just going to start adding my water nice and slow and mix it in. Just like the henna, I can't really give you guys measurement for the water. You just have to add it slowly until you get like toothpaste consistency. We are very close now. And when you mix the indigo, you really have to apply it immediately. It has like very fast dye release. So we're only going to let it sit for like 15, 20 minutes and it is ready to be applied. I'll show you right now the dye release, but I think right now it is good to go. I'm just going to cover it. And like I said, just let it sit at room temperature for 15 minutes. All right guys, so it has been 15 minutes. Let's check the dye release. Very good. So when you see this dark metallic uh, color on the top, that's your sign of the dye release. Now I'm going to mix uh, the henna that we mixed this morning on the side without apple cider vinegar. 
I'm going to mix it in with my indigo. And like I said, if you're going after black color, you don't have to add henna, you can do just indigo. I want more of a brown color, that's why I added a little bit more of henna to my indigo. All right guys, so we are here again. I'm about to apply the second step. You don't really have to do it immediately. You can wait and do it within like two days to a week, uh, but I just wanna get over with it. So I just wash the henna and I'm going to apply it to, right now to my damn hair. And I'm going to focus on the gray patches where I have them. I'm not going to apply it on my entire hair. I just want to focus on the gray patches. Already, already. So I am all done. I actually thought I was only going to do my gray patches, but then I saw that I have a lot of indigo, and I didn't want it to go to waste. So I ended up doing some areas that they actually didn't need it. But at least now, maybe we'll have some nice even color. And all I'm going to do right now is I'm going to cover it with my plastic cap. And I'm also going to wear this hat to keep it nice and warm and I'm going to leave it in my hair for like an hour or two. I'll see how much patience I have because it's actually very late now. It is like 8.20 p.m. So I'll probably rinse it maybe 9.30 or 10 o'clock and I'll see you guys tomorrow when my hair is fully dry and styled. All right guys, so I ended up leaving the next step in my hair for about an hour and 10 minutes and then I rinsed it under running water until the water got like mostly clear. I added some co-wash to my hair. It is not really a deep conditioner. It is just like a moisturizer co-wash. It helps to get everything out of your hair. I really liked it. That was my first time trying it and I really liked it because after I learned that the deep conditioner hair mask strips out the hair color, don't do it. I used to do it right away after this treatment. I used to fill my hair with the deep conditioner hair mask and that was really bad. Even oil treatment, just go easy, wait like a few days, even like a week or two before you do an oil treatment because also it will strip out the hair color. And now I'm really happy with the way my hair turned out. Those gray hair got a very nice dark like brown color. Some red tones running throughout my hair that I really love. Uh, so looking back on it, I'll probably get away with just leaving the next step in my hair for maybe 30 minutes. If you are going after very dark jet black, you can leave the, the second treatment on your hair for like up to four or five hours if you want but because i want it more of a brown color so that would be probably the only thing i'll change next time leaving the next step in my hair for a little less time or maybe adding more henna i have been doing henna for a very long time and i really like the color that i have right now i feel it is like layers built over the years so i really like that and once you have that color that you like you really don't have to do this process on your entire hair you can just do roots touch up when you need it I just love the henna benefits, that's why I did it, apply it on my entire hair this time because I just love the, the benefits that it gives my hair and I haven't done it in a long time so that's why I did that and for any one of you who didn't have success at first please don't get discouraged and think that you did something wrong or this doesn't work for you because it is not the truth you just have to be patient and you know we are remember we are applying very natural plant-based color dye to our hair so you can do it as many times as you need just like give your hair a break maybe four to five days and that same recipe that didn't work at first try it again and you'll be surprised by the results that you will get but that is it for this video guys i really hope that you all enjoyed it if you did please thumbs it up consider subscribing thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next time bye